the pear in the pear tree. Ah. When John and Jane were out working, they were busy talk, talk, talking. Until looks at John. Look up there. I can see a juicy pear. They couldn't reach. They have a try. What will they do? It's too a pie. They fit a letter. I'm ready, said Dean. You must hold steady. But, but just as Dean was reaching out, poor John had to, to let out a warn, warning shout. The letter screamed. Dean screamed. Ventitabu. <laughs> Now jumping to the top, must run just like a microphone on the swing and back first and back first. Soon Jane was running very fast to keep Jane up. <laughs> keep Penny off. <laughs> And Dylan left Paige. <laughs> Jane, like a fishing rope, rope in the shore in the craft. <laughs> Panty top. When Jean came hurting from the sky and landed in a, a, in a plush plush nearby, the bird started up a scare. She was shot up in the air. Jean was struggling <laughs> in the water. John reached out his hand and caught her. Now Jane was wet with dripping hair, but sir, they had to have the pair. Pear. How were they ever? Which up there, how did they ever get the pair? Bang, bang! The bird dropped from the sky and landed on a branch up high. Landed at a point and quite safe and branched with her great weight. Or through the run quickly and bounced up the rock and sat with. John was able to reach the pair. Now she was sitting in there. The pair were fairly tight. They pulled and pulled with all their might. Twang. The hilarious pair came free. And then the bird, as you can see, a cat pulled tea from the tree. She ran it in a trap. Back in the pond, see and found where she belongs. John and John and Dean, they now ate the pear. One bite ate the pear. They ate it up down to the core. That's all said. Jane, there is no more.